Welcome back everybody. It is time for another Goliath's build day. I've been getting inspired from Instagram as I usually do. And I figured why not take one of the builds that I've been seeing and get inspired by and just try to recreate as best I can see if I have all the pieces, maybe add some things here or there. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. My source of inspiration is from a fellow Glios builder, Glasshouse Insect Life. Go check him out over on Instagram. He's got a lot of really cool, spectacular looking Glios builds. He's very impressive with it, very skilled with the thumbs. I saw this piece here and it just looks super cool. It's like this weird kind of like walrus, elephant looking creature. It's got a ton of different like Biomaster parts. And I've got a pretty good amount of extra Biomaster parts, so I figured this would be a great build to try to piece together myself. We're also going to try to attempt this one here, too, if we have enough pieces. I might have to steal from a few places to make this one, but he looks really cool, too. And it's very creature-esque, fitting the Halloween theme and whatnot, so I'm looking forward to seeing if I can get enough pieces for that one. So, first things first, we got to kind of break down what we're seeing here on the picture. If you're not fully integrated into the Glios verse yet, this might be tricky. I know it was for me when I first started as far as to seeing pictures online and determining what parts they're getting pulled from. Then it gets a little bit easier. You know, you find a source of inspiration. You can go to that creator's store, get some parts or some figures. That way you can build something with that inspiration in mind. So looking at this piece here, this is probably about 95% all from the Biomaster drop that we just had recently. I wasn't able to get any of these figures. They're the nice like skin colored blanks. They look really clean, really clean. Great for like customization, like your own custom paintwork and stuff. I do believe there's a lot of these still available in the Biomaster store, so go check those out. But let's see here. We've got some Biomaster here, Biomaster there. Yeah, it's pretty much Biomaster everywhere. Maybe some God Piece parts thrown in here and there. I'm gonna be using God Piece because I don't have, again, these specific parts from the Biomaster figures themselves. So I'm gonna be using some God be stuff like the base and a couple of the claws and whatnot. And then we also have a little bit of some battle tribes thrown in, some little like leg joint pieces and stuff from the battle tribes. And of course we've got some additional O'Neill stuff as well. So I'm gonna go over to my boxes that I have all nice and sorted out neatly now. It's gonna be easy for me to go in and see if I can find all these pieces here today and start building this guy. We're gonna have to figure out if he's like an elephant or more of a walrus dude, come up with some kind of name. I have to look if he actually put a name on his Instagram post or not for this guy, if he titled him, I'm not sure. But again, go follow Glasshouse Insect Life. Super, super cool, impressive gallery of fantastic photography for toy pictures and glios pictures and fantastic very, very unique and creative builds. He'll get your brain going with how to use some of these parts. He does some pretty cool stuff with how to use certain parts in different areas you never would have expected. I'm also thinking going forward too, if you guys have a build that you wanna see me try to do if I have the parts, I want you to be on Instagram and use the hashtag lockdown glios build. And if I see something that I really like and like speaks to me or if I have enough parts for, then I will use that build in an upcoming build video and I will feature you guys and your Instagrams, give you guys a little bit of a shout out. So if you like the idea, make sure to use hashtag lockdown glios build. All right, here we go. We've got extra slime pieces. This is kind of the color scheme I'm going for. We're gonna switch it up. We got this nice kind of brown. Uh, this one I believe was from a God Beast one, a God Beast drop we had recently. And we've got the nice Biomaster Uzarians. I'm gonna to try to combine the brown and the green. I don't know how good it's gonna turn out with those two colors, but we'll see. This one doesn't quite match, but that's all right. Some of these are extra parts. We'll see how this goes. All right, so the head is gonna go right up on top of here. I already started just checking it out, piecing it together a little bit. Where's my headpiece? Here it is. All right, so there's our little headpiece that's gonna go up on top of this. We need one more section of the neck. Then we need the little tusk parts. There we go, okay, looks pretty neat. Now we're gonna do those front legs. This will be 
the back legs. Now I didn't exactly use a Battle Beast leg piece like the picture showed. I swapped it out because I didn't have any like good ones that match. So this one's at least green and black. This is coming from, I forget the name of the guy, but it's a Cappy, Spe Cappy Space uh, figure. I'll put him up on screen what he looks like. Hmm, this leg is becoming problematic. He's not going to be able to stand completely how I want him to with this leg. Such an awkward piece. I might have to figure something else out. Okay, we got him standing. He's a little frog-legged, but at least he's standing. If I find another piece that'll work better, I'll swap it. But for now, I think this will be okay. He's just gonna be in that one kind of stance. Yeah, it's okay. Having a little trouble figuring out how they exactly attached the wings to this part because he's got them, got them flipped actually like this. Oh, I see. I see. He's got them attached up here to this thing. Okay. All right. All right. Because I was going to use these because I don't have, again, like good battle tribe pieces that would match this. So I'm going to put these on this part for those back legs. There we go. Okay. Yep. I know it's not looking like much yet, but it is getting there. I wasn't particularly looking at putting those cannons on. I might put on one, maybe on one side. They use this piece. Uh, do I have two of those? I don't know if I have two of those pieces, so I might only do it on one side just for that reason. Somehow there's a piece that can attach three of the hands to the back butt part. I don't know what piece he used for that either. That's another problematic thing because originally I thought it was this piece right here but it doesn't have three pegs so I'm really not sure how he accomplished this thing oh wait I know what it is yep okay yeah I know what it is I gotta go look for that piece okay I remember what it is it's the uh, little bottom piece where all the tentacles go in for these guys the bio mutant dudes monsters that's the part that I'm missing but I don't have one relative readily available because I used other parts from this dude I guess so I'm gonna have to make do with what I got thinking I plug this in here maybe and then just give him a little tail because I do have other little tail PC things I think where I plug in like this part here that might work, that might be fine. It's not gonna be quite the same, but I wasn't going for 100% accuracy. I just wanted to get as close as I possibly could. So it'll be kind of like that. Or I could use this piece even. That might look kind of cool too. This and that, he's got like a little stinger thing. Okay, okay. Slowly but surely we are getting there. All right, I put this side on. I kind of made a little doohickey thing. And then for this side, I am gonna use this spare part here. We're gonna plug that in right here and add a couple more doohickeys. Like a claw maybe? Could be good maybe? This thing looks wild. I think we're good. Here he is, here's the finished look. This guy is pretty wild, look at that. It's pretty cool looking though. I do like how the greens and the browns turned out. We'll do a little spin look here at him as well. You can kind of see the side profile looks really nice and clean on this dude. I, I dig the little appendages we gave him. We didn't go too overboard or anything, and the legs actually did work out a little bit, which is nice. Do another little spin here. There we go. Got the tail as the dragon head. The wings are uh, pretty centered for what it is. I mean, the sizes are a little bit different on where they're attached to, but overall, I think it came out pretty nice. I dig it. I like this guy. Let's get a little cray booth in here for comparison so you can kind of see how that stacks up against other figures. Pretty good, pretty good. He's, you know, he looks bigger in the picture, which is surprising, but I knew he was going to be smaller than what I thought, but he looks pretty good. Either way, though, I'm happy with it. I think it looks clean, even with the size and everything. These legs are very loosey-goosey. You got to really position them nicely. Can't do a ton of posability with them, but that's okay. Get your shot, you get what you need, and at the end of the day, if you're happy with what you built and you had fun, then you're winning. All right, this guy's done and complete. I'm going to jump over to that little bag-headed monster dude. Let's see what we can pull together with that one.
All right, for our next guy, here is our blown apart version of what I've come up with for pieces and whatnot. I didn't have quite all the pieces. I had like 90% of them, I think. So here is the reference again. Once again here, right there, he's looking pretty sick. I'm going to attempt fabric again. I kind of suck with it. I haven't really been able to fully master how to do these fabrics yet. Plus, I don't think this is like the best quality fabric either. So we'll see how it goes. This is gonna be the headpiece. I threw together a bunch of hands on another little piece and I'm gonna poke holes in this so they like pop through like little horns or something. I'm hoping it looks okay. We might revise that if we need like some more, I don't know, some more length on the head or something. And then arms were a little bit tricky. I didn't, I got these guys. These are the, the leg pieces from Battle Tribes. I tried it with this and it does work in place of like actual arms. Uh, the only problem is like, I don't have a good connector piece to connect the arms to the actual hands here. Uh, that was the only unfortunate part because they're both double nibbed on either side. So you gotta have some sort of connector. I don't quite have it. And I didn't have that one specific piece that typically goes from these to the actual arms themselves. Uh, I didn't have enough of those. So I went with these, which caused most of my problems, but I'm just gonna make his arms extra lanky, extra creepy, and just do a double up on these and do it a little bit differently. You'll see how it turns out. Uh, legs should be pretty much the same, a little bit different of pieces, not quite the robotic ones that I thought I had, but these will work just fine. And I went with the white from the Battle Tribes for the chest and the groin area and stuff because uh, I had two of them. So you gotta make it look a little bit in sync and matchy match. I'm gonna use this little hair tie thing to put around the hood and the head to keep it taut and in place. And then I'm gonna give them a little extra notation here on the body chest area too. I think that'll kind of tie it together quite nicely. This should be pretty easy to go through, so let's do it. Might need to extend the neck on this part too. I might need to raise it up just a hair. Just bumped my desk and a few things fell over. Very sad. Since I got you here, I did forget to include, uh, we needed two switch pins, so on the legs, that's about it. I wish I could have done a blown apart view for that other one, but uh, yeah, I didn't really think about it. There we go, there we go. Very, very cool. I like it, I think it came up pretty good. I think it's a little bit squattier than the reference picture, but that's okay. Now on to the hard part, the fabric. Well, there he is. I think he came out pretty sweet. Yes, I struggled a lot with the fabric, but you know what? He came out pretty nice. I like him. We'll do a little 360 just like the other one. It's a little messy in the back of the hood, but I do like the tail addition. I think it looks nice. And I think it really came together in the end. What do you guys think? There's both of our guys together. I need some names for these guys. I don't know if I'll have any by the time this video is edited, but if you guys have any better ones, if I did put some here, or if you guys just have any cool ideas for them, let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the build and tell me what kind of things you guys would have done differently. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you stayed all the way to the end, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Glios content. And make sure to go follow me on Instagram at Locked down 51 and use the hashtag lockdown glios build i'm really excited i can't wait to see what you guys come up with so make sure you get really creative with it have yourselves a great rest of the week stay tuned we are going to be jumping into some halloween crazy bone themed openings you're not going to want to miss it we'll see you guys in the next one